this is a direct upload, so I'm gonna really hope that I don't say anything embarrassing because I can't start it over. Um, so, this week's topic is about um, benefits of being in the LGBT community. And I would just wanna say that Shane, you suck, because Shane took all of what I was going to say. And he actually, he recorded his video on Monday and he was like, hey, I, I, I talked about this. And I was like, you're kidding, right? Like, that was everything I was gonna say. So I'm kind of angry at him. Um, but I'm just going to reiterate a couple of things that he said. Um, so, sleepovers. If Even if you are out to your parents, um, and they still let you have sleepovers with girls, which uh, my parents, like, let me have sleepovers with girls that are friends, just not my girlfriends. So, um, sometimes it's good to kind of, like, sneak a sleepover in there before you tell them that you're dating. Um, that's, always, that's always a benefit. Um, locker room? Not locker room. Whoa dressing room that's where the magic happens my friends um because <laughs> they don't they never let boys and girls go into locker rooms together but guess what they like girls and girls um but actually I was gonna talk about in middle school and stuff I probably wouldn't have th figured out I was gay so soon if I didn't like check out girls in the locker room so being a girl a gay girl in that regard I mean during that time period was like pretty helpful you know I because I could just like Sneak peek. That's super creepy. Oops. Okay. Sorry. I'm in a good mood today. And then also, since I'm pretty feminine looking, um, people usually don't really know that I'm gay. And when they find out, I kind of like become this like, I don't know. I think, I feel like people who find out that I'm gay look up to me more than they do people who are really obviously gay because it like opens their eyes to this whole new idea of what gay can look like. Um, and I really like being that person. Um, so, okay, the next part of the topic is what do you look like on your most confident day? So, actually today I was super confident, so I'm just going to, like, give you an overview. Um, I, oh, when I'm feeling confident, I always wear my hair down. Um, always. And it's kind of a complicated story, but I'm very self-conscious about my hair, so... Oh, well, Anna, don't forget that it's your video day. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm very self-conscious about my hair, so when I wear it down, it means that I'm feeling really good about it. Um, also, I get, I actually get dressed in the morning. Um, a lot of times I just roll out of bed and, like, go to school in my pajamas. Like, I probably do that at least once a week. Um, but when I'm actually, you know, wearing nice clothes and stuff, sorry, that was, like, me showing you my nice clothes. Um, <laughs> when I'm actually wearing nice clothes and stuff, it means I'm feeling pretty good, and I'm usually making lots of sexual, and that's what she said, jokes. I do that when I'm feeling confident. And with that, I'm about to make one. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wow, direct upload. I'm just going to keep going. So, I'm about to make a sexual joke right now when um, Shane, okay, Shane asked for the question, if you were a fortune cookie, what would you be? And... I would be one of those fortune cookies where you add the words in bed at the end. Has anyone ever played that game where you just read your fortune and then you say in bed and it just makes it so much better? So it would be like, be whoever you are in bed. Um, <laughs> I'm so funny, you guys. Okay, that's all for this week. I, I hope you have a lovely, lovely week and I will see you next Wednesday, where I'm picking the topic, so I have to think of something good, um, comment, tell me your favorite fortune cookie that would work for, like, in bed, like, some favorite sexual fortune cookie, and I will see you next week. Bye!